Hey what's up guys, Lightning Eagle 14 here, soaring back into your everyday life with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about a very interesting projectile that I have found for my drain blaster that works surprisingly well and I think it will surprise you as well. So would, I, would you believe me if I told you that I had found a projectile that was biodegradable, didn't require cleanup, meaning you don't have to go around and pick it up after you're done shooting it, costs over 10 times less per projectile than an AccuFake and got better range and better consistency than either rival rounds or darts. Would you believe me if I told you that the projectile I was talking about was none other than mini marshmallows? So in my quest for the greatest and best drain blaster absolvers, my original my original absolvers were all made from Maverick cylinders. You you know that if you've watched my older videos on on this drain blaster. And while they work pretty well, they also take up a huge amount of space, and storing them and carrying a large number of them is quite the problem. It helps a little if you use cylinders from smaller blasters like hammer shots or Mavericks or uh, strong arms, but those are also just equally as hard to come by as Mavericks, if not harder. So I switched to my next ammo type, which was rival absolvers. And these I made from a single tube of one inch CPVC that I fitted into half inch PVC. And these hold five rival, rival rounds each in a row in an inline clip of sorts. And this works pretty well. But I didn't like rival rounds because they get lost super easy. And if you're firing five at once, you're going to be losing a fair amount of them pretty quickly. And they get lost very, very easily. And they're roughly four times ish the cost of, a, of, of darts, uh, depending on where you buy them. Twice that if you buy the headshot rounds. So yeah, so these are not quite my favorite ammo type. Regardless, these worked pretty darn well. And they worked a lot better with older, more squishy rounds. But I still wasn't satisfied for the reasons I explained. So I switched to my next idea, which was using half-length AccuFake darts. Theoretically, I could also have used Worker Steffens or ACC Gen 3s or something of that nature. But I decided to try half-length AccuFakes because I didn't have any of those. So this is what I made. I tried a barrel of uh, Schedule 80 PVC, not Schedule 40, Schedule 80. That's why it's gray and it has a smaller inner diameter with five times little AccuFake darts. And that did not get very good range at all. The consistency was just awful. You'd have darts that went 28 feet and then you'd have like one dart in the bunch that went 28 feet and then one dart that went up to 50 feet, which is ridiculous. And so you'd have like a 30 to 25 foot spread in between the farthest shot and the lowest shot, which is not very good for a shotgun because you want it to be consistent. Consistently at a good size spread, which this wasn't even a good size spread. So I trashed that idea. And so I moved on to my final idea, which was mini marshmallows. I basically just decided to try it out of the blue. I was like, eh, let's see what happens when I try using mini marshmallows uh, in half inch schedule 40 PVC. And I was really surprised by A, how far they shot, and also by how consistent they were in terms of spread and also basically sort of grouping, which is kind of the same thing as spread. Why did I say that? Anyways, so in this video, we're going to be, I'm going to be demonstrating to you why I believe that mini marshmallows are the best ammo type to be used with drain blasters. Not only do they take up way less space, they're cheaper to the ammo itself is cheaper and the absolvers themselves are cheaper as well. So this thing has a huge list of benefits over traditional darts and even more over rival rounds. So without further ado, let's do some firing demos. All right, so we've got a round 80 foot tape measure set up. Haven't seen any shots go that high, so it doesn't matter that it's not all the way at its 100 foot uh, usual length. So we're going to be testing all the different absolvers uh, for different ammo types that I've built so far. We're going to start off with a standard dart absolver uh, firing one of my strong arm cylinders which gets slightly better performance than the Maverick cylinders. Alright, here we go. Firing level, uh, shoulder height um, at arm's length. So there's that. Uh, next we'll do our Rival absolvers, we'll start off with the 
with the uh, loose, older, genuine rifle rounds, and then we'll do some light take ones, which are a little bit stiffer and thicker. Uh, next, doing the old, the thicker and stiffer light take uh, knockoff headshot rounds. Here we go. Same thing. The consistency on that, if you couldn't tell, is all over the place. At a range of around 35 feet, I got a spread of probably like 30 feet. Like just from side to side, I got a 30 foot spread. So yeah, consistency is just awful. But at like 15 feet or so, 15, 20 feet, you're gonna hit them for sure. So that's good. Uh, next we're gonna be doing the uh, half darts in schedule 80 PVC. I've got five half-length elite darts. Here we go. You can tell there that we got one at probably around 25-ish feet and another all the way at what looked to be probably 45, 50. Finally, we're going to do the marshmallows. And I think you'll see why these are superior to all the other options. Hopefully this shows up on camera. Very good spread, but nowhere near as extreme as the rival, as the um, the rival ones. It's almost perfectly comparable to the to the um, to the yellow, to the genuine Hasbro ones, the not so stiff and not so thick ones. They get very similar performance to those, practically identical, except they're biodegradable, like. Uh, marshmallows are 11 times cheaper than Accufakes, and Accufakes are 4 times cheaper than Rival Rounds. You do the math for that. I suck at math. <laughs> we'll do another marshmallow one. Now, here we go. This one has a slightly shorter barrel because I'm just using scraps of half inch. Schedule 40 PVC that I had lying around from making marshmallow guns way back. So these will get a little bit less range. But overall still pretty consistent. Um, like I said, you're not going to be hitting someone at like 50, 60 feet, but they go that far. Because the spread is just a little bit too wide at that point. And I've got one more, one more marshmallow one lined up here. Oh, just kidding. Oh, nope, yes we do. All right, here we go. Same procedure. And that one has even less of a barrel, so that one got even a little bit less range. Alright, let's go check out what kind of ranges we got. Apologies for camera shakiness already, but it is what it is. Can't really fix that too much. Um, look, here's our first one. This is our, right here we've got a half length AccuFake and that's sitting right at around 29 and a half feet. So yeah, I was pretty dead on with those accuracy claims. Got a couple of marshmallows here, but I think those are from earlier. So I've just been firing marshmallows all day. <laughs> it's so much fun. Okay, we've got another couple AccuFake half lengths here. These are sitting at 40. Got probably what looks to be our last half length AccuFake, and that's sitting right here at 43. Now here we're getting into our um, into our nice little um, uh, AccuFakes from the from the strong arm cylinder and those are mostly sitting here right at around 46 and a couple of them the shorter ones landed at around 43 again you can see we've got one there and one there 
And we've got our first rival round here. This is sitting right at around, looks to be 43 again. That's a blue rifle round, so the consistency is not that good. Uh, let's see if we can find some more blue rifle rounds. Here's one. This one's sitting probably 8 feet off the tape at around 55. I know there was one that a couple that flew really far off the tape. I'm going to see if I can find those. Um, I don't see them. But... Uh, let's look up here. Here we're getting into more of the marshmallows. There's a lot more marshmallows at this range at around the 50, 50 or so to 60 foot mark. Let's see if we can find some yellow Hasbro rounds. Here's one. That one's sitting right at around, looks to be 60, 64 feet. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find any other yellow Hasbro rounds as those are probably the most consistent but uh, like I said the cost is just uh, way more than the marshmallows and you get comparable performance from the marshmallows. Uh, I'm trying to look but I don't see any more yellow ones they just tend to just disappear in the grass. Oh here's one. Got another one and that's sitting almost at the end of our tape at around 67. So yeah, I think that's all of the all of the rounds or projectiles that I shot. Uh, let's recap. So as you could see from the range test slash firing demo, I mean hopefully you could see, not sure how well it showed up on camera with it being kind of dark right now. But anyways, you you'll just have to take my word for it if you didn't catch it but the yellow Hasbro rival round got pretty similar performance to the marshmallows albeit with a uh, slightly higher range and uh, less of a spread a more consistent grouping but honestly I would argue that that's not what you want you want a bigger spread because shotguns are meant to be a closer range type thing where you're pretty much guaranteed to tag at close range but you're not guaranteed to tag at farther range. They're meant to be many projectiles so that you can easily kill someone at close range. They're not meant to be a longer range type blaster in general anyways. And like I mentioned before, their, their benefits just vastly outweigh those of the, of the Hasbro rounds anyways. So if I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, Please leave those in the comment section down below. I will answer any and all questions and comments that you give me. I read all the comments and respond to all of them. And I think that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found this video as interesting or uh, surprising as I did. Because I sure was surprised to find that the mini marshmallows performed as well as they did. So I think that's going to do it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.